after you've hit your shot, you've got to evaluate what's happened. You've got to be a detective. You've got to think, all right, the ball went over to the right, it curved to the right. Although I know what caused that because the only thing that makes the ball curve is the club face. The ball curves to the left, same thing. Don't think, oh, bad shot. Learn from it, improve from it. The ball's curving. Think through it, what causes that? If you're a detective, you can figure it out. So if the ball curves to the left, the club face was in this position. If the ball curves to the right, the club face was in this position. How do you fix that? Well, the great Sam Sneed, 100 years ago, if he would be hooking on the course that day, he'd go out and hit fades for an hour after his round. If he was fading it on the course that day, he'd go hit hooks for an hour after his round. Then once you figure out the opposite side, you can back off and find the middle. So you have these great checkpoints, the six checkpoints. You learn how to do your two ones. You get good at the muscle memory. But then once you hit those checkpoints in your swing, you still have to use the ball to tell you what you need to do with your swing. So if you're hooking it a little, feel a little fade. If you're fading it, feel a little hook. And what I mean by that is simply close down that club face. If it's going off to the right in this fashion where you turn the hands through just like this, you square the back of that left hand, that makes it curve to the left. If, you, if it's curving to the left, you got to feel a little bit of this and curve that ball, feel a little bit of curve to the right. Once you've exaggerated the opposite, then if you just feel a little bit, little of it, you can back off and find the middle. And that's how to play your best golf.